looks like. Meatloaf Bailey, what a PR stunt. Look at me, guys. Yeah, I would do anything for pound notes. And I'm going to sit in a restaurant. And I'm going to look like, oh, I'm proper Charles. And I love Chelsea. And this is all on Siri Merchant at Bali. What a load of bollocks. Greetings from Centre Parks, by the way. That's, uh, that's the background. I hope you're all well. This is just ridiculous, though, isn't it? Oh, are you fucking having me on? Are you joking me right now? That's how deep that... This is how far they reach. Let me smoke that for you, Siri Merchant, yeah? Let me smoke that for you, Ted Lasso Bowley, yeah? You think you can fool us? You're a long way from Starbucks, mate. Hollywood. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Let's have it right. Let's have it right. Up the Chels, up the Minerals FC. Big up to every single one of you live and locked in. Hope everyone's doing well winning live. First and foremost, I want you all to smash to pieces that like button. If you haven't smashed it, smash it right now. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, make sure you do that as well. We've got the notification bell, ding dong. Let's have it right so you know when we go live. And we've got the Minerals FC Ultras membership, which is down below in the description, along with the Minerals FC Extra channel as well. Salute to all the Minerals FC Ultras, everyone in the chat, everyone landing their minerals, and of course, all the proper chels. Um, respect to everyone, and uh, let's get let's get straight into it and land the damn minerals, bruv, because that's what we do on here. So, it's been breaking news today that the uh, Clown Lake Brigade, the, the circus, the free ring circus have sacked, let's have it right, not parted ways, sacked Chris Jurisic. <laughs> yeah, let's have it right. Let's jog on with all that nonsense. Yeah, he's been sacked, mate. Um, why? Why is he being sacked? He was appointed. He was part of Clear Lake. Now he's gone back to Clear Lake, Clown Lake. Let's have it right. But he was he was brought in and was the CEO of Chelsea Football Club, a fella with no football experience or knowledge. In fact, he came out publicly and said he's got no interest in football, just like Hornbrook Wise, the hunchback Notre Dame. Yes, yeah, let's have it right. Was he? Yes, he's the 5% merchant, the one with the driven ambition to buy Chelsea Football Club because of his dislike for Roman Abramovich. Oh, yeah, that fella. Um, the one that signed off the 5% to his, uh, what, niece and nieces, two nieces, didn't even know they thought Chelsea was a shop in uh, in America. Let's have it right. That's what we're dealing with here, with this whole consortium at Chelsea Football Club, the Circus Act, the Clown Lakes themselves. Um, and uh, the meatloaf bowly. I would do anything for pound notes and brown envelopes. We'll keep handing them out. Um, we've also got that announcement. So this guy, the CEO, who's now been sacked, I'll tell you, this guy addressed us as what? Not supporters, as customers. He retracted and took away the coach's subsidiary for all the season ticket holders to get to away games. He increased the season tickets. Let's have it right. He increased tickets generally because it's all about the pound note. It's all about trying to generate a revenue of like having a 60,000 capacity stadium when we've only got, what, 40, 41,000. Let's have it right. And there's no talk of us rebuilding at the moment because... Well, we know the Chelsea pitch owners have got Clown Lake by the short and curlies. Um, but as it goes, this guy's been sacked. It is what it is. Now, all these decisions that he made, all of them, yeah? Did you know, like I told you last season, I told you two things. The first thing I told you is that he walked into an FA Cup game, met the Chelsea Supporters Trust, which has been well documented. Now, it wasn't before, but I told you to have it right. And I got ridiculed for it. I got called, oh, you're a waffle. It's bang as a mash waffle. He, he spoke to Chelsea Supporters Trust and basically said to them, at an FA Cup game, oh, it's lovely to meet you guys. 
Um, I hope we can get get the win and, and get the three points. That's what we were dealing with. In fact, that's what we're dealing with with Clown Act generally. But don't worry, Siri Merchant Egg Barley's come out and says, you know, we need uh, Champions League football in our lives after watching um, Real Madrid v Bayern Munich. Um, yeah, how's that going down when you inherited the recently Champions League winners and Club World Cup winners, Super Cup winners, um, and our trophy cabinet at Chelsea Football Club, and you decided to gut us all down, uh, go for a kindergarten FC, wage cap of 150 grand, Neil Bath, Jim Fraser, Chelsea Academy in Cobham, stripped and gutted, the groundsman, the tea lady, the directors, uh, Thomas Tuchel won us that Champions League that you crave, that you need in your life. Um, you sacked him because he said, I'm not being a yes man, not coming in that dressing room, which you still do. You still go in that dressing room for your rat tunnel. Let's have it right from the West Stand to, to where the East Stand. You know the deal. You know where it is. You built it. Let's have it right. Um, and obviously, what else? What else did you get? Oh, yeah. The entire Champions League winning players that won us the Champions League that you so want to be in right now. Um, yeah. Well, why did you do what you did? If you need it in your lives, Champions League football. I'll tell you why you need it in your lives, because you need that pound note. Because let's let's have it right. Are we going to break the wage structure to entice world-class players when we're in the Champions League? Are we actually going to do that? Or are we just going to rake it in? Let's get them pound notes in, just so we're in the Champions League for all the sponsorships. By the way, you ain't got a shirt sponsor. Chris, you're a sick. You're wrapped sick. Let's have it right. The CEO, what are we doing here, bruv? Why haven't we got a, a sponsor on our shirt, mate, for the second year running? Oh, don't worry. We've got someone else coming in. I'm sure that'll get done sharpish. I'm sure. Um, but you just want to be in the Champions League because you're not going to change your model. This is built on sustainability, isn't it? Of course it is. It's a long-term five, ten-year plan before we win anything. Are we going to win anything or are we just winning financially? Yeah, we're winning financially. Let's have it right. But, but... I told you that was the first thing. The second thing, the second thing, aside from you're at sick, Jurassic Park, who's been gutted from jail, says have it right by his employers at what? <laughs> Clown Lake. Um, he said, Yeah, I hope we get the three points and we win in an FA Cup game. Yeah, delusion, mate. Get on it, bruv. You're an embarrassment being a CEO of Chelsea Football Club or Elite Football Club. We see things they'll never see. Shout out Chelsea old boys. Let's have it right. And all the old school Chelsea that passed away. Come on, what are we doing here? Um, no surrender. That's what it is right now. It's no surrender because he said that. And I also told you this because I told you the first part and I told you this. Milo Bowley knew and saw and approved with Ed Barley. These decisions. And do you know what they said? At first they go, oh, I don't know. That's a bit of a dodgy decision. I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't do that. But do you know what? Ed Barley and Meatloaf Bowley have the power, being co-owners of Chelsea, to override Chris Urisic's decision to increase season tickets, uh, take away the coaches for the way supporters and season ticket holders. Let's have it right. Do you know what he did? They both said we're not we're gonna let you go ahead with it because we don't we don't want to override and undermine our CEO. What a load of waffle. You lot wanted to do that, and you used Jurassic as a scapegoat. This is the truth. This is the truth. Now, I'm gonna ask you this. I'm gonna ask you this. Now this guy's been sacked. He's the full guy, he's the clown, he's another clown that you put there, that you employed. Are you going to retract? from those decisions that he made, that he so-called made, when he's just another yes man for you lot. Are you going to retract it? Are you going to bring back down the season ticket prices for next season? Are you going to reintroduce the coaches for the away fans? Are you going to lower the prices generally? Are you going to get us a shirt sponsor? Let's have it right. Are you fuck? So, your decision, his decision, same thing. You wanted that. And now this guy's the full guy. And now he's gone. So who have we got now? Now it's been broadcasted. We've got Jason Gannon, is it? What's his name? I wrote it down here. Where is his name, bruv? Where is his name? Jason Gannon, who is now being promoted. Now, let me tell you about Jason Gannon. Let me tell you about Jason Gannon. Because I don't, I don't know if people researched it or not. Maybe they have. I don't know. Um, but... Um, Basically, Jason Gannon, yeah, I've got a lovely bit of itinerary here. 
um, is the managing director of Sophie Stadium and Hollywood Hollywood Park. Of course, Hollywood Park, based in LA, bruv. Gannon has primary oversight of a Hollywood Park and its operational components, which includes Sophie Stadium, the performance re uh, venue, retail, office, hotel, and parkland that form the two, uh, 298 acre district being developed in Inglewood, California, by Stanley Cronkier. Lovely. The American Companions, Cronkies. Yeah, let's have it right. The ones what? That the Oscar supporters during um, Super League were actually protesting to get the Cronkies out and he, the old man stepped down and the son took over and then you, need, you, you saw the implications from the protest. That's why I would say trust the protest, not trust the process. You know what I'm saying? Because we can't even trust any progress, bruv. What are we doing here? Um, but the Cronkies, um, he's got a relationship with him. Let's have it right. So it's, I think that fits the bill for Clown Lake, doesn't it? Um, Sophie Stadium and Hollywood Park are transforming the site of former Hollywood Park racetrack to a year-round sports and entertainment uh, destination for the employment of people throughout Southern California, as well as visitors in uh, visitors to the region. This will be the new must-see entertainment destination and gathering spot in the center of Los Angeles Basin. Um, well, throw the kitchen sink at it. Why don't you? Uh, this monumental project is located two miles off. Blah, 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 uh, blah, 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 blah. This, the centerpiece of the di district is a 70,000-seat stadium that will be the, the home of NFL's Los Angeles Chargers and Los Angeles Rams. Let's have it right. Now we're getting into nitty-gritty. The stadium will fe uh, feature sports events, sporting events, including the Super Bowl, um, the coll College Football National Championship game in 2023, and the opening and closing ceremonies of the 2028 Olympic Games as well as major concerts, of course, a bit like Levy at Spursy. We're going to have Beyonce, the wig merchant, and, uh, well, that fraud that she's married to. You know what I'm saying? Eminem's the goat. Let's have it right. Uh, murdered you on your own track. Renegade. Well, we're a renegade on the Minerals FC, and we are the Slim Mineral Shady because we spit on this mic and we expose everything for what it really is because we love Chels. Come on. Um, it then says... Um, major concerts and other entertainment year round, which is obviously the forefront uh, project for Clown Lake to rebuild a stadium. Um, if they can, you know, buy out CPO, it's going to cost you mate. Um, and I'll tell you what, I ain't selling my share. So you're done there. Um, as managing director of Sophie stadium and Hollywood park, Gannon is leading a world-class team that includes Turner, Acom Hunt, Wilson Meany and Legends is responsible for all business matters regarding the project, including business development, marketing, sales, communications, government affairs, finance, or oh, government affairs. Oh, lovely. Lovely. Can you get a, a Roman's money out of the bank, earning interest and send it to the victims of Ukraine? That'd be lovely. That'd be lovely. Um, he, he also oversees the contractors, including the thousands of workers that are building this transformative stadium and district. Gannon has been with the Cronkier organization for more than 12 years. During this time, he has served in executive project management and legal capacities for various platforms. So lovely. We've got a goon, someone who works with the gooners, basically. That's what we've got. You know, we have. We have what have we got Chelsea behind the scenes? Because these clown legs ain't Chels. Like me, like Bowley says, yeah, look at me. Uh, jellyfish powder got death threats. Uh, before the Spurs game that I attended, and I looked really hung over. Why? Because I was pictured by the Daily Mail, um, pictured him with a Chelsea hat and scarf, because I'm proper Charles, great meal, wonderful food, absolutely pissed out of his head. Yeah? Let's have it right. And we lost that game 2 0. We never lose to Spurs. We lost 2 0 away. Let's have it right. Shambles. Um, so that's a little bit about um, Jason Gannon there. All right. Now, let's listen to what he says. Let's, see, let's hear what he says, because he, obviously he's, he's spoken. And it's Toothpick Jacobs that has put it out. Uh, but before we do that, Milo Bowley, Siri Merchant, Jose Fagaziano, it's more important to build business value than win or lose in the field. Yeah, that's very fitting, mate. Jason's unique combination of talent, experience, and strategic, strategic vision will drive the club forward as we work to achieve our ambitions on and off the pitch. Okay, cool. Gannon says, I'm honoured to assume this elevated position within a club so rich in history and well-renowned across the globe. 
I've developed relationships with many supporters over the past uh, years since joining Chelsea and it's an enormous privilege to be here. We have an incredibly passionate supporter base, oh, not customer base, yeah, both here in London and across the world and we are determined to drive the club into bright and successful future. Yeah, we've heard all this spiel before from Chris Jurisic. Let's have it right. Um, I would like to thank the board for this tremendous opportunity and I'm thoroughly looking forward to working even closer with the leadership. Well, basically, you're just a yes man. Let's have it right. Um, in addition, uh, James Bonington, the club's general counsel, has been promoted to chief legal and corporate affairs officer. And James Murray, the club's chief of staff and head of business of head of business operations, um, has been promoted to chief strate strategy officer and head of business operations. Lovely jubbly. Um, so basically, um, let me say it for what it is. Chris Jurisic was someone who called us customers, had no interest in football. And now they've, they've, they're saying we're restructuring again. Everything's a restructure. But I thought the project was from the get-go. I thought you were telling us about this project from the very, very moment you walked through the door. It's a long, long five-year project. It seems to be that you're rectifying all your fuck-ups continuously. Um, but yet, you still haven't brought in a known football, football CEO. You haven't brought anyone in. But we got Milo Foley sitting as chairman earning 20 million a year. Let's have it right. And then Egbali and Jose Fagaziano will take that after five years. Um, so there's no one in these positions that has any, any experience or CV or credentials to lead Chelsea Football Club as a CEO. This guy's in American sports. But that's the whole point, isn't it? It's called Money Bar. We're bringing Money Bar to Chelsea Football Club. Isn't that comical? Money Ball. If anyone's watched the film, with Brad Pitt, let's have it right, if Mikla Bowley thinks he is with the Golden Globes and all that, running Hollywood, um, well, he couldn't win an Oscar, let's have it right. He can win an Oscar for destroying Chelsea Football Club along with Siri Merchant. Yeah, you win an Oscar for that, I'll tell you that. Fantastic, well, you're getting a trophy for lowering our wage structure by gutting everything elite out of our football club and bringing us mediocrity. Um, but what I want to say is this. It's very simple. It's very, very simple. You haven't brought anyone with football experience Again, this guy comes from Moneyball. Moneyball, when you've watched that film, that film is about a team on a low budget to implement data and stats, penny pinch, do well against big teams, but the ultimate end game, the ultimate result is the manager bags a, a fantastic job at the Sox, but that he rejects millions of well, pound notes for him, or dollars in that in that sense, because we're in America, the United States of America, um, the, the ultimate goal, the ultimate moral of the story is they win fuck all. And that's basically what we are at Chelsea. It's a, it's a con. It's an absolute con. Now, the one thing that Toothpick Jacobs, Matt Law, um, Nizar Kinsella, Fabrizio Romano, Pornstein, and all these brown envelopes, the one thing they didn't quote that James Gannon said, is what I'm going to read you now. He says, I'm incredibly pr proud to have led this historic football club into its next chapter. But this is what Jurisic said. He said, we have accomplished the task of building a team both on and off the pitch. That means the club is well positioned for long-term success. No, you ain't, my son. No, you ain't. And this James Gannon Ain't going to do that either. Because what's his track record? Stadium rebuilding. Let's have it right. Events, marketing, all the shit that doesn't interest us supporters, apart from the season ticket prices, coaches, and how the club is actually run on a financial level for us customers. Um, and sorting out shirt sponsors, mate. You know what I'm saying? Sort, sorting out Nike for making a Trust the Come Shot kit. I mean, the most disgusting kit. And I don't care what anyone tells me. That is the worst kit I've ever seen for Chelsea Football Club, bro. What are we doing here? Um, you've basically fobbed us off again. But the funny thing is, this guy's been put in place for a restructure. You don't need to restructure. Well, you do. You need to restructure everything. In fact, gut your whole model out. Gut your whole model out. Yeah? Gut your whole model out. Um, so that's all I really want to say on that, to be honest with you. Um, there's not really much else to say except, well, we've said it and we've landed the minerals. Um, but 
I don't trust this move. Um, he's going to be another full guy and he's not going to rectify. And if he does, it's because we put pressure on him to do that because they watch us. Let's have it right. Um, but now moving on, we've heard recently for the Europa Conference League that what? That Cole Palmer has been omitted. Cole Palmer has been omitted from the Conference League group stages until the knockout stages. So is Lavia, so is Fafana, and so is someone else in particular called Ben Chilwell, who won us Champions League, Club World Cup, Super Cup. Yeah, our best left back, to have it right, who's been rotted and exiled. And he, they're trying to force him uh, to, uh, to Turkey. Um, and it's been reported, obviously, that the likes of Galatasaray, Fenerbahce, Bektitax, Bestikax, and Istanbul, uh, Basak, Gashir, None of these clubs have shown any interest or appetite for uh, for uh, Ben Chilwell. Well, why has Ben Chilwell be, been omitted from the Conference League squad? Why? We could do with him. He needs to get minutes. It'll help you get him off the books, show him. Because he's not playing Premier League. And if you don't sell him, what's, what are we going to get? The PR that Enzo Maresca is going to go... Uh, now, Chile, we, we did say that he has to get minutes elsewhere. Well, now we're going to offer him minutes because, uh, yeah, we've got injuries galore. Let's have it right. Well, Cole Palmer, Lavia and Fafana are not part of it. Now, I have to say, our squad, this is what we got. We've got our, our three goalkeepers, Lucas Bergstrom, Sanchez, Jorgensen. Uh, we've got Disaster Disasi, uh, Bala Dildo Shai, Mark Gugurela, Gugurela. we got Tosin. Uh, Malo Gusto is injured at the moment, so have it right, because his hamstrings made of cheese strings. And Renato Viega, who suspects, I, I suspect he's 40 years old. I don't think he's 20 years old, but so have it right. That's our defence. Uh, midfielders we got, we're taking Enzo Fernandez. Of course we are. Um, Noni Medueke is under midfielders. He's not a midfielder, so have it right. Um, Chukameka, well, apparently he was meant to be sold, but now he's part of the plans. Um, we got uh, Drewsbury wedding all, Moses Casado and Casade. All of a sudden, that's part of the plans. And forwards, we've got Neto, Mudrick, Gio Felix, Nicholas Jackson, Christopher and Kunku, Kunku, uh, Jaden Sancho, and Mark Gui. So have it right. Uh, the list B is Levy Carwell, uh, Levy Carwell, uh, Keanu Dyer, McKenna, Merrick, and Akigpong. But you couldn't put Chilwell on there. Wow. Okay. We know what the deal is then. We know what the deal is. Don't we? We know what the deal is. Um, so Palmer, I kind of agree, but he's 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 not training with England. He's not gone to England camp because why? He's got fatigue. They want to manage his minutes. Why? Because he's he's his muscles are feeling fatigue. Why? Because he's been carrying Chelsea Football Club. Because it's the only signing they've made that's actually come out elite, bro. Um, the rest remains to be seen. The proof will be in the pudding. Um, but let's have it right. Um, I have to question why Chilwell's not in that squad for Conference League. Why can't he be in that squad? That's disgraceful. It's absolutely disgraceful. And it, did I mention Cucurella on there? Yeah, I did. Yeah, Cucurella's in there. So we've got a lot of first teamers in there, except Lavia, like I said, um, Cole Palmer um, and Fafana, who, let's have it right, Lavia and Fafana are very injury prone. Uh, I'd say Reese James is as well, and he's on that in in that group stage. I don't understand that. I don't understand why Enzo Fernandez is on there. We sh we should have enough quality in there to land the minerals and qualify for the knockout stages. What are we doing here, bruv? I mean, that's just outright embarrassing, isn't it? Yeah, outright embarrassing. Um, so it is what it is. We move. Um, obviously, the latest on Ozzyman. I want to reiterate something on Ozzyman. Ozzyman is still getting paid three hundred grand a week. Is Napoli wage. Galatasaray are paying 160 and the remainder is paid by Napoli. He's going to stay there for the whole season. He's not coming in January. So all the PR happy meals by Felice Romano about us showing still interest in Ozzyman and we're going to go back in January. It's all a load of bangers mash waffle. Um, Ozzyman is fully, fully committed to Galatasaray to revive and, and make sure he, he, he shows what he's worth, bangs goals and then can go and get his move to, yeah, it's not going to be Chelsea. Let's have it right. Um, and I, I'll, I'll be real. Um, we're not going to pay him 300 grand a week. Everyone says, why don't we buy him or get him on loan? You know, but we would we were saying we'll, we'll get him on loan with an obligation to buy. But it was the wages. It was the personal terms, which we were told we all agreed. Well, clearly they weren't. So it's a veritable 
here we waffle, mate. Yeah, lies all day long. Um, just to keep the fan base on board. And we haven't bought a striker. So, Ozzyman, I don't think, will play for Chelsea. End of story. Um, so, stop twerking for him. Because um, let's have it right. Our Clown Lake owners ain't twerking for him. They weren't even prepared to pay 160 grand a week just to loan him. They were prepared to pay that as his wage to sign permanently. To have it right. And his release clause has gone down to 65 million pounds. Pounds. So, he's more than affordable. To have it right. Oh, maybe Duran will go up to that price because he started off the season well. Maybe these clans will go back to Duran. Why they didn't buy Duran, I don't know. You ask, you ask the fan base. They went do lally about it. So that's what that's where I'm where I'm I'm sort of just landing at the facts on Ozyman because um it, it, we didn't pay and we penny pinched. And yet all these supporters think that Ozyman's a mercenary. He's not a mercenary. He's not a mercenary. Yeah, he just won't lower his wage. Why should he? Why should he lower his wage? What? Because he loves Chelsea. It's not the same Chelsea as what he fell in love with when we had Didier Drogba and John Obi Mikel, uh, John Terry, Petr Cech, Frank Lampard, Fabregas, Essiens, Balax. You know what I'm saying? Robbins, Duffs. What are we doing here, bruv? We've been at Ernan Crespo, mate. Yeah? You know what I'm saying? Yeah? What are we doing? Cavalio, Ballers, bruv. Ivanovic, Ashley Cole. That's how you build a team. Roman Abramovich built that team. Most elite team. And that was sustainable. And we won. And we were the most dominant, most feared. These lot, they just realised now, after watching some dead game with Real Madrid and Bayern Munich, where Real Madrid are obviously going to go through. Um, yeah, we need to be in the Champions League. Yeah. I mean, you didn't see the trophy cabinet, clearly. Uh, all you had to do was tweak it and improve on it. You didn't want to do that. But no, it's all for the sake of Moneyball. Yeah. And for the new... Clown Lake Sports. It's in the game. Let's have it right. It is in the game, isn't it? It's in the game. Uh, make sure you smash that like button. Every single one of you, smash to pieces the like button. Because I tell you right now, all of this, all this PI happy meals, everything, everything flying about, yeah? And the way that they're restructuring and trying to make out like they're trying to rectify their mistakes. No, no. They're happy. They want it. Every, every decision that gets made has to go through Egg Barley, Siri Merchant, Meatloaf Bowley, and Joseph Casiano. And do not ever think that. They're all in it together, free ring circus. Let's have it right. They're in it together. And I'll tell you what, the glove just don't fit like OJ Simpson, bro. It just don't fit. It don't fit like Michael Jackson's. You know what I'm saying? It ain't glistening like a trophy, man. Yeah. So we know we know what I'm you know what I'm saying here. You know what I'm saying. So big up to everyone in here. Smash the like button, hit the subscribe button. We're gonna be uh doing more more content, putting out more content. Make sure you go and see my previous stream, um, uh, which basically actually made the point as well that Russian and uh Arab owners come in and bring money into the clubs, into the country. The Americans, on the other hand, they're here to blood suck extract everything they can. And one thing I forgot to mention, Chris Jurisic, he was part of the two hotels, Cobham Training Ground, and what? And what? The car park being stripped as assets from our football club and put onto Blue Co 22 Properties Limited, which is not part of Blue Co 22 Midco that owns Chelsea Football Club. Savvy, right. So it makes sense. The damage has been done. He served his purpose and he can go back to working at Clearer Lake, um, the equity merchants. You know what I'm saying? Because these lot just don't know what they're doing. And uh, I'll keep calling it out for what it is. I respect everyone supporting the channel, everyone that doesn't or has an agenda. Jog on. Don't bother me. Respect you for watching anyway. Uh, put all your comments down below. Smash the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And as always, we will salute with our Don Roman. It's Clown Lake out because they ain't sorting it out. It's no surrender mentality because the mentality, as Jose Mourinho said, when you start appreciating win, uh, losses and saying we played well, and it doesn't matter, and we're losing games, that's when you stop being a big club. And now our mentality with Yes Man Enzo Maresca saying that we're, we're going to lose and, you know, blaming it on Pochettino, like the injuries now, blame it all on Pochettino. 
a uh, guy that's not here that can't speak for himself. Blame everything on Don Roman because he can't speak for speak for himself. But he will, when the time's right, Don Roman will land the minerals like he did um, saving uh, from captivity John Obi and Mikhail's dad. No, he was kidnapped, host, a part of hostage. Let's have it right. Um, yeah, these clowns ain't got the minerals or capability to do that. Instead, they're holding all of these platforms, these journalists, these fraudulent journalists, and the majority of the fan base, they're as hostage. And they're buying into the, the PR Happy Mills and the Clown Lake project that they don't even know what it is. So good luck to everyone in there. Good luck to everyone doing that. Um, but, you know, you're a long way from Starbucks. You're a long way from that super grandma. But the mentality is dead. And we need to keep that mentality. The no surrender mentality. We need to push that. Because if we don't, what are we here for? What are we here for? Just to accept mediocrity. We have to get top four. And we have to win the Conference League as a bare minimum. A bonus would be the FA Cup and Carabao Cup. But I'm not just winning FA Cup or and Carabao Cup. No sorry, mate. Yeah, let's have it right. So, big up to everyone. Smash the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Put your comments down below. Love to everyone. Keep winning in life. Um, and as always, up the Chels, up Mills FC. Let's go. Oh, man,